the Chevrolet Corvette is entering its fifth year of production as the C7, the seventh generation of the top GM sports car, and it's enjoyed a highly successful run thus far. Gorgeous and astonishingly fast, with handling that's free from excuses. A base Corvette is a sports car bargain, a machine that performs well above its station in life. So what happens when you pump a vet up to more extreme levels? You get the Z06. Featuring a supercharged V8 engine, an adjustable suspension, tunable exhaust and all kinds of go-fast aero bits, the Z06 is the top performance model in the Corvette range, until the rumored ZR1 appears for a limited engagement and an all-new, mid-engine Corvette debuts as the C8 sometime soon. I spent a week in a new 2018 Corvette Z06 coupe during an unseasonably warm autumn spell to see just how different it is from lesser versions. Until now, I'd only ever driven convertible versions of this generation of the Corvette. And while the soft top version is attractive in its own way, the coupe really is better looking. Having no roof accentuates the car's massive rear haunches, while keeping the hatchback roof line in place makes it look low, sleek and much more exotic than anything Detroit has produced in some time. The fact that this almost Italianate styling is available on a car that costs a fraction of what a Ferrari or Lamborghini runs is a testament to GM's design studios. It's five years old and still looks dynamite, and the Z06 takes things up a notch further. In the Z06, you get more aggressive front and rear styling, larger supercharged badges on the fenders, and unique wheels. There's a more aggressive rear spoiler and optional front aerodynamics, as well, mostly done in carbon fiber or plastic. You don't even need to splurge for the convertible to enjoy open-air motoring. Every Corvette coupe ships from the factory with a removable roof or panel that stows in the cargo area. It's made of carbon fiber and can be removed by just one person, if that person has long enough arms, and it lets plenty of air into the cabin on a nice day. It doesn't afford the same kind of external visibility as the convertible, but it's a rigid roof that allows the Corvette to participate in track days without needing an aftermarket roll bar. That's important for the Z06, because the track is where you're going to want to spend some time. Powering the Z06 isn't the Corvette's standard 455 horsepower, 6.2 liter V8, but rather a supercharged version that puts out a whopping 650 horsepower and 650 pounds feet of torque. It's mated to either a 7 speed manual transmission or an 8 speed automatic, even in the Z06. Power goes to the rear wheels. At the Corvette's base price of around $60,000, its interior is acceptable. When you load up the Z06 to almost twice the cost, however, the interior falls short of what you get in competing sports cars. Never mind the pointy corner of the gauge cluster that can spear your left knee when you get in, you'll find a way to avoid that. But the quality of the plastic, the sophistication of the controls, the multimedia system screens and gauges, they all scream Chevrolet part spin. And while that part spin is significantly better than it's been at nearly any other point in Chevy's history, you're still sharing your multimedia screen with the Chevy Cruze, not an issue you'd face if you chose a new Mercedes AMG GT coupe instead. Thanks for watching subscribe now.